Okay, hello everyone. I am very pleased to have with me today Dr. Pronrak from Bangkok in Thailand. Uh, Dr. Pronrak is an ophthalmologist based in Bangkok, uh, specializing in glaucoma and also a cosmetic eyelid specialist in Majestic Eye Clinic in Bangkok. Dr. Pronrak has been one of our first users of the iOptimate system for class for glaucoma surgery in Thailand. And currently she is using our eyelid system for blepharoplasty. So Dr. Pronrak, first of all, thank you so much uh, for your time today. Hi everyone. Thank you for having me today. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself before we start? Uh, okay, sure. Uh, I am an ophthalmologist, especially in glaucoma for four years. And now I work in the Paris Hospital as a glaucoma consultant in Bangkok, Thailand. And about the blepharoplasty, I have been experienced about blepharoplasty in terms of cosmetic surgery for eight years. And now I work as a consultant about the cosmetic eye surgery and revision case in private practice in Bangkok. Oh, fantastic. Uh, and and tell, tell me, how do you find the CO2 blepharoplasty relevant to you as a glaucoma specialist? In, in Thailand, it's very commonly that ophthalmologists can perform blepharoplasty, not only uh, oculoplastic surgeons because of high demand of case. And uh, uh, in Thai people want to have double eyelid. And so this blepharoplasty is very, very popular in Thailand. And for me, um, before I became glaucoma specialist, uh, I have uh, been doing blepharoplasty uh, in terms of cosmetic blepharoplasty for eight years, over 1,000 cases, and I use conventional technique. I use the uh, uh, scalpel, I using the braid, and I using the scissor for the operation. But uh, when I became glaucoma specialist, I have used CO2 laser for cast surgery, deep scleritomy surgery, and I found that the laser can use uh, assist peplopathy also. So that is the beginning why I, I have relationship between CO2 laser, peplopathy, and glaucoma. So that's very interesting to, to, interesting to see the ability to actually use one system uh, that can serve you also for glaucoma and at the same time for, for eyelid, for blepharoplasty. That's fantastic. Uh, and perhaps can you elaborate to us, uh, especially our Latin um, audience and Spanish audience, um, what are the unique features of the thigh eye or in general Asian eyes compared to Caucasians? Uh, in Asian eye, it's very, very unique characteristic. Um, very different, a lot of different from Caucasian eyes. Uh, Asian eye has a small eye, has single crease, and sometimes no leakies. And many, many people have problem about ptosis and very common to have epicantal food. So in the past 10 years, um, people request have eyelid like a Caucasian eye, but also today, now they, they didn't have change. Uh, they realize that uh, the Caucasian eye in the Asian face or in Asian eye have, uh, is perceived as uh, a natural look mm. so that the ten of surgery have changed too. Uh, when we perform cosmetic surgery in Asian eye, it's more complicated than usual, more using uh, time, uh, total time of operation, uh, more interoperative breathing, and more uh, uh, post-operative voicing. So, uh, because because is uh, we have to collect many problems of patient eye, such as we have to collect the tosis, we uh, we have to collect epicantal flow. Mm -hmm. um, and tell me if we talk about um, 
about the laser and, and your experience. I was first time in, in, in your clinic when we were doing the surgery. How intuitive, how did it feel after doing thousand cases manually suddenly to use a, a laser for the first time? I'm concerned about the accuracy of the laser and and uh, how, how difficult I control the handpiece. Uh, but why I using the laser for a while for the first time? Uh, I found that uh, laser quite a uh, uh, side aiming beam, and I did not have any experience about uh, divergence beam in the laser in any direction. Uh, and handpiece is easy to control and with flexibility. So I can conclusion that the laser, uh, I am very impressed the laser when the first time used because of and simple and simple and very accuracy. And um, perhaps to conclude, what? how can you summarize your experience in terms of um, the main uh, the main benefits that you find in in using the CO two laser when you're doing eyelid surgery. Um, the uh, eyelid system of I Optima provide me the great advantage about uh, uh, surgery time about uh, reduce uh, interoperative breathing and little post-operative voicings when compared with conventional technique. And the more important thing that I found about this laser is significant improved interoperative control. And interoperative control in the fluoropathy is invariable. I think it, every surgeon agree with me in that, in that, in that part. It is uh, revolutionized my experience and practice in the philopathy. Okay, uh, Kapun Kap, thank you so much for your insights and all the valuable information. We, we truly appreciate that. And uh, we hope to see you uh, again soon. Thank you, Dr. Pranak, for being with us. Much gracias. Thank you so much, too. Thank you. Bye-bye.